Hello and welcome to another episode of Kira Electric News. Um, this week in my wife's car because mine's away because of the display failure. Um, I'll put a, a link up there to what that story is. Following on from uh, last week's um, video about the Kona getting wireless at Android Auto and CarPlay, um, I found another Australian news story on carexpert.com.au, but this time for Kia. Um, this says it's coming to the EV9 as, a, as an update and the Sorento SUVs when that comes out. But then it goes on to say that older ones, which were Gen 5, weren't compatible. But that's not strictly true when they all had the wireless built in. Um, also the Ionic 6 as a Gen 5 head unit and as over the air updates. And again, uh, that's in conflict with that, so this is not right. Um, also, um, when the Ionic 5 was first launched, it had wireless Android Auto and CarPlay turned on, but was later disabled in um, an update. Um, that was only for the very first few, and the guy from Hyundai actually told me this, had fully charged during my test drive. So, it's as clear as mud whether or not the older head units are going to get um, this wireless update but I think probably not because of the cost um, but we shall see anyway uh, all links to stories are in the description with all the rest of the show notes EV9 prices were revealed in the UK this week um, you've got your free trim levels you've got your Air, your GT Line and the GT Line S all of them have got free row seats um, they start at 64995 for the Air, 72495 for the GT Line, and, and uh, 75995 for the GT Line S. And they all have a 99.8 kWh battery. Now, some Kia adjacent news, which is on Hyundai side. The new electric Kona prices were also revealed this week, and they start at 34995. This is a slightly bigger um, new shape, multiple LED Kona, so slightly chunkier. Um, for that 34,995, the battery size is 48 kilowatts and a, a slightly lower powered um, electric motor. And um, the bigger ones have a 65 kilowatt hour battery. The new Kona electric comes in four different variants. Um, the advanced variant is, is split into two types. You've got the 48 kilowatts and 65 kilowatts. So the lowest price advanced one is 34,995, going up to 38,595 for the 65 kilowatt version. Then you've got the N, then you've got the N line 65 kilowatts starting at 43,995, the N line S at 43,095, and the Ultimate at 43,095 as well. But you'd think the Ultimate came with all of the extras, but it doesn't. Um, you can have um, Lux Pack, which gives you digital key, memory, memory driver seats, um, premium relaxation seats, uh, remote park assist, and heated charging door, and HDA2 and FCA2. That's an upgrade from the 1.5 version that it comes with already. <clears throat> and that's an extra 1500 on the Ultimate Edition. I also note that the uh, head-up displays disappeared from the specs. That was in the launch videos and the rest of the documentation, so maybe it's just not an option in the UK. I still think the when you put that against the Nero, the Nero is still good value and because you get a lot of these features built in and the head-up display. Um, but on the other hand, this is the new connected cockpit technology in the Kona. Also, the charging speed has been improved from, is it 75 kilowatts to 100 kilowatts, or thereabouts, so it'll charge faster. So there are quite a few advantages to the new Kona, and I think it's worth examining if you're in that arena looking between the Nero and, and the Kona, the new Kona anyway. You can order both the EV9 and the new Kona Electric. In fact, the all-new Kona Electric has got a configurator on the... Uh, Hyundai website, so you can go through and see what options you can get. So if I put the ultimate and then zip through all of the way, I notice that's also a slightly more powerful motor than the uh, Nero's as well. 
and then you get the option to the Lux Pack, which is dig digital key and the uh, extra driving functions and the driver's seat and there's also a lever pack as well. If you pick all of those that brings it up to 45k. I still think it's a slightly better looking car than the Nero. Um, don't know when I come to change my AV6 I'll be, I'll be thinking long and hard but uh, hopefully I can have another AV6 despite my, my issues. <laughs> anyway Thanks for watching.